Hi, this is Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com, and I'm down in Santa Barbara for the day, and I met Lester Scalita. here. Scalita. I'm in Scalita. Oh, <laughs> by Santa Barbara. Anyway, and I have Lester here, who's homeless, hanging out in the park with his dog Sandy. And, um, well, Lester, what, what's, uh, what's it like to be homeless down here? Actually, pretty much on the most part, if you stay out of trouble and don't get into any trouble, mm -hmm. you get left alone by anybody, except for the major troubles I have are homeowners. Homeowners? And what do the homeowners do? They don't like the homeless because they figure they pay X number of mountain taxes, dollars, and everything. Uh huh. They don't want to see somebody sleeping anywhere or doing whatever. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, you, you're not in a home because of the affordability, correct? Affordability, yeah. Yeah. Even when I was working, it was too expensive to even try. I mean, rooms are $800, $900 a room. And when you're making minimum wage, it just making, doesn't cut yeah. it. Yeah. When you're making less than about $13, $14 an hour, you can't afford it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? So, so yeah, how do people afford that? I don't know on minimum wage. I don't know how they afford anything. <laughs> they end up getting a bunch of people living together, have two or three people in a room or, you know. Yeah. So you've got a four-bedroom house that has eight to ten people living in. And they all pitch in. And they all pitch in. And is that homeless people, or, is, or I guess it's not homeless no, people, it's just people, students, or students whatever. Students in general, uh, families. People. Okay, yeah, that makes just sense. Just people that work together. So as far as the homeless thing going on, you were telling me about spanging and, and flying a kite. What's the difference between the two? Spanging is basically old-fashioned panhandling. Uh-huh. Some With people may have a sign sitting up, but they're basically asking you for money mm -hmm. when you go by. To where flying a sign, you're sitting outside, of, you're at a exit to a mall or something and standing on the corner and they drive and you're getting you're driving by mm -hmm. and they see you and hand you money because you don't have time to ask them if they got anything all right and so how do you make a living how do you how do you eat i recycle and i've got my food stamps and then as far as if it rains and all that where do you go i've got several uh we'll say covered areas that i have access to uh-huh to keep me out of the rain so what's the hardest thing for you to be homeless what's the hardest part Always make sure there's enough to eat. So it's the eating thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. And what, so what do you do all day? Um, I recycle or I just take it easy, play with the dog, mm -hmm. talk to my friends. So do you think you'll not be homeless anytime soon? Uh, it depends. If I, you know, right now I'm just trying to relax after working for 10 years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> working 40, 50 hours a week for 10 years. Yeah. Quite a bit, okay. Yeah. America does it, doesn't, don't they? <laughs> All right, well, thank you for your time and um, have a great day. All right, you have a good one too. All right, Julia Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.